Good morning, George Peabody School. I want to talk to you today about feeling grateful. With the long break coming up next week and the Thanksgiving holiday, it seems like the right time to talk about and reflect on what we're feeling grateful for. I know there's a lot we're feeling maybe disappointed about or frustrated by or sad about, and it's okay to have all those feelings, but when we can focus on gratitude, the science and the research has proven that focusing on gratitude can actually increase resilience in kids and adults, and it can increase positive emotions, it can actually help us sleep better, and did you know that practicing gratitude can also help us to become happier people? It's great. So we want to try to practice gratitude in our daily lives, not just during the Thanksgiving holiday. So I have some ideas for you. And um, one idea was sparked by um, this a psychologist named Dr. Robert Emmons, and he wrote a book called Thanks. And in the book, he talks about an experiment that he did where he had a group of people keep a journal and write down every day things that, he, that they were grateful for. Another group of people wrote down things that they were annoyed by. And then a third group of people wrote down anything they wanted. And what he found is that the people who were writing down what they were grateful for actually ended up having a much more fulfilling life during that time. They reported feeling better, they reported um, exercising more, and they reported sleeping better. Um, and they reported just an overall more positive well-being. So can, if, you, if keeping a gratitude journal is something that interests you, that the idea of just writing either one or two things down a day interest you, that is um, an idea that I can offer you today. Again, not just during Thanksgiving, but anytime, all throughout the year. For Thanksgiving, however, I came across this idea that I loved. I grew up in upstate New York where we had trees that changed colors. And um, when I was a kid, we used to take drives and look at the beautiful fall colors on the trees. And so I cut out these leaves in different fall colors. And we, I had my family members write down things that they were grateful for. Um, check this one out. Do you think I wrote this one? Mm -mm. <laughs> that one's not mine. What about this one? I wrote it, but I think my whole family is grateful for dog parks so that um, my dog Bob can get lots of exercise in the morning. It makes my home more peaceful. So being specific um, about your what you're grateful for is really helpful. It makes the benefits go much deeper. And with an exercise like this, maybe your family members could write down on leaves what you're grateful for, and you could hang them up on a string and then save them from year to year. You could put a date on them so you know when you wrote them, and then you could save them and add to your leaf collection every year. If you don't like the leaf idea, you could try putting them on a chain and doing a gratitude chain. Um, another idea is to make thank you phone calls on Thanksgiving and making a list throughout the week and then calling up a few people on Thanksgiving and letting them know why you're grateful for them. <clears throat> Maybe you make a little 30 second video and then you text or email off a quick video um, to a person, either a neighbor or a grandparent, someone you can't be with, a cousin in college, someone who's far away and let them know why you're grateful for them. Um, another idea is to take little rocks that you find and paint them and paint little messages of gratitude. If you go on a walk or a hike on Thanksgiving, you could leave those around on the trail for other people to find. I know I would love to find something like that if I went on a walk. And finally, I found this game that I thought sounded so fun and it's called the gratitude game. So you would need something like um, pick up sticks or other colorful items to correspond to the colors on your list. Um, and you could make any kind of list or key that you wanted, maybe popsicle sticks and you could paint or use a marker to color the tips um, of each stick and then put it in a can or a jar. And then when each person pulls it out, they would answer the question for the color that it relates to. And so it would be name a person you're thankful for if you picked orange or if you picked red, name a thing that you're grateful for, thankful for.
So that's just another idea of something you could do on Thanksgiving. This might be a new tradition. Maybe all of these, the leaves or the chain could be new traditions. We might not get to do the traditions that we usually do, having a big gathering or traveling to other places. Um, but maybe not having the traditions that we usually have makes room for some new traditions to, to start up this year. So I'm hoping that next week you are grateful for a few things in your lives and that you are safe and you are healthy and that um, you can find ways to be with the loved ones and find ways to connect with those you can't be with and you can be safe uh, while we are not together on Zoom. And please know that when we are not together, um, I am always grateful for you. Until we see each other again, bye.